Hey, Mark Nelson from MarkNelsonOnline.com. Today I want to talk about the top ways to create more engagement on social media. You know, if you're coming on the replay or on a YouTube video, please comment below. Tell me where you're from. Um, if you like what I do, do some likes. Share this if you can. But today what we really want to talk about is how do you create more engagement on social media? And, and I think social media is kind of getting, uh, at least I always felt I was overrun because everybody was pitching their stuff to me, putting links up, sending me places. And, you know, I'm, I'm on social media for, yes, I do business on it, but I really, social media is for social purposes. I'm trying to get to know people, trying to find more friends, build my network. And I think you need to do that. So this is going to be the top ways to create more engagement. I see more people are coming out. Please give me some likes. Tell me where you're from. Introduce yourself. I love it. The first one I think is you got to ask, and this is for if you're in business or an entrepreneur, you got to ask questions and opinions. Today I put out a question. So what do you think is the number one thing that most businesses struggle with? Right, because I want to hear what people are thinking of. Or you could ask, how can I help you? Or maybe you could ask if you're a blogger, what blog post should I do? You know, what are you really interested in? How can I help you? Or maybe you could write, in your opinion, what makes a business successful? And then what you got to do is just, you know, ask them. Comment below and tell me what you think. Right? See if you can get people to respond and build, start building this relationship with people. But if people make a comment or like it or share it, reach out to them. Comment back. Thank them for the like. Thank them for the share. Yeah, I'm real big in this number second one I'm going to talk about. I like it, inspiration. And we're just coming off this season of politics. And, man, I love motivational quotes. I, I love inspiring quotes. I like to hear people that are having success. Um, and I really do. Even if it's if they're just, if they're building a business online and they got their first lead. That is cool. That feels like they've just on top of the world. So do something that inspires people. You know, talk about what is happening in your life that will inspire people. Try to motivate people, right? You can go find pictures, quotes all over the place. So the first one, again, was ask questions and then do inspirational things. And then I think the third one that people really like is on Facebook. <laughs> that was funny. But tell them stories. Right? I mean, and tell them what's going on in your life. And a lot of that time is is that's what you're just doing with pictures. You know, I head out on the pontoon a lot. And we, we're posting pictures on our pontoon all the time. Because people want to see what I'm doing. Right? They want to see what your lifestyle is. My wife just went to, uh, uh, I forgot where she went, went to Denver to see her sister. Well, she posted about that. That's what people want to see. The fourth one is fill in the blank. Right, and this can kind of be a little different, but I'm feeling about, I'm feeling great that I'm starting to build a business. I'm feeling great that I sold my first product. I want to learn more about blank in this business. You know, have people fill in the blank. Have them tell you what they want to know. But see if you can create a little bit of energy the next one is really a bit of straight talk. And you see people doing this, you know, they'll say, I'm going on a rant right now. I want to tell it exactly how I feel about things. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. There, there really isn't. There's, you know, I have lots of rants. I really didn't like the political season. I really didn't because it's, nobody's going to sway what I was going to do. I didn't like the negativity. That was my rant. I didn't want to see negativity on social media. The next one is being vulnerable, right? People are, you know, and that's with storytelling and being vulnerable. Shoot, there was a time when my wife and I didn't know how we are going to make ends meet. We really didn't. It was, you know, I went through some health challenges. It was a struggle. But we didn't give up. And we started building this online business that was so exciting because all we're trying to do is create a little momentum. 
So how do you create more engagement on social media? And again, don't do it as a business. You know, try to create engagement. Socialize with people. See if you can get them involved. And as you get them involved, you can make friends and start maybe talking more about your business. But the first thing is ask questions and opinions. You know, how can I help you? You know, if you could join a business today, what business would you join? It doesn't matter if it's yours or not. Just see what they're thinking about. The next one is inspiration. Man, this is just need to. Hey there, Andrew. Good to see you. And Pamela, I see you got on there too. Thank you very much. But inspire people. Motivate people. You know, I, I just go to Google Images. I really do. And I, I look for ones that aren't copyrighted, but I'll just Google an image and, and it's usually a motivational quote. I'll go to Canva and put my quote on a different background and just put it up because I want to motivate people. You know, the next one is storytelling or vulnerability. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. You know, don't be telling, don't be afraid to say, hey man, I have no clue what I'm doing. No clue. Hey Pamela, good to see you. And the fifth one is maybe fill in the blank. Man, if only I could make blank amount of money and let people fill in the blank, right? See if you can start a conversation. And then the last one, and we haven't talked about this, is have a call to action, right? And call to action could be comment below. Please leave your comment below. I think I missed one, but that's okay. Or call to action is head over to my blog. My blog is marknelsononline.com. Or a call to action is head over to Pamela Hensley's page and see all the great things she's doing. So here's my call to action. Head over to my blog, marknelsononline.com. Pick up your free 22-page PDF on how you can brand yourself on social media. Get on my newsletter and hear from me every day. Hope you all take care, and we will talk to you again tomorrow. See you. Bye.